And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. In the last episode we just... Um, we had just provoked this man, Shark. Um, he looks unhurt for at the moment, but um, he is about to get hurt, because as you can see we're in combat mode and I think there's only one way this can end. Um, Either we die or he does. Let us try to disable him. Um, sometimes you can also blind people without you, so you don't necessarily have to kill people. If you manage to blind them, they will stop being aggressive. Quite naturally, because, well, they can't attack anymore. Um, The problem with, um, so even if we survive this, there's still a problem that this guy could have provided us with information. So it's always a good idea not to get in combat here in this game. Despite the fact that, well, combat is one of the things that makes this game so much fun. Let us try to break his arm. Hmm. Let's tr try to blind him. I think he's blind, maybe. Um, yeah, he is blind, so he is now in fact running away. And he is not aggressive anymore. But we can't talk to him, I think. I thought you'd get the picture by now to beat it. I guess I was wrong. But at least it'll be fun to beat you. Oh. And that just. Ah, but he's, yeah, you see he's running away because he's blind. Um, so in fact we sort of not killed him, but then again, doesn't make much of a difference. And you see the bartender, okay. I think breaking into this bar was really a bad idea. Um, by the way, we also stole this urn last time. A beautiful golden urn with the name Harriet inscribed on the front and ashes inside. Hmm. Now I feel kind of bad for doing that. Um. Okay, anything of interest here? Does not seem to be the case. Okay. Okay, who are these people? And someone is running away. That man, Gustafer. Sorry, no boxing today. Uh, okay, when's the next match? Try again tomorrow. Saul will. Saul will be boxing then. Who is Saul? Saul is the local champion. Saul is the cute and favorite of Gizmo. Hmm. Who is this? A tough-looking muscular man. This isn't the time or place for weapons, friend. Oh, sorry. But if you care to try me sometime in the ring, feel free. Yes. Um, what do you do here? Sorry. What do you do here? Saul laughs heartedly. Why, I'm a boxer. Um, what's the deal? Hmm, well, stranger, I work for Gizmo. He's the owner of that great casino there. Pays good money to fight us here, too. What else do you want to know? Um... How did you become a boxer? I was always getting into scuffles with my brothers when I grew up. One time a small band of raiders attacked Junktown. And I beat one into submission before he could get his gun out. Gun on me. Just luck really, but Gizmo was sponsoring organized fights and I needed some money. Been boxing ever since. What happened to your brothers? My brother James was killed in a raider attack a few years ago. Shortly after that, my other brother, Daryl, gathered together some things and set off, set off south to 
towards a mythical place called the Glow. In search of the treasure of the ancients, or something like that. He never came back. Hmm. What do you know about this legendary place, the Glow? From what I've heard, the Glow is a great crater that glows at night. It's supposed to be far, far to the south. But I don't, I don't know where. Stories say that it's inhabited by all sorts of mutant freaks who got the technology from, the, the, from before the war. Interesting. Can you give me any more info? What can I help you with? Um, can you tell me a little, bit, a little bit about your boss? Gizmo's Casino is where everybody goes to gamble. There are many games and you can have a great time. It's the best place this side of the hub. What else is there to do around here? If you are just looking for supplies, you should try Killian Darkwood's store of south southeast of here. You can also get a night's sleep at the crash house near here. If you are planning to stay a while, you might want to get a drink over at Scum Pit. But watch out for the skulls. Who are the skulls? The skulls are a bad bunch who hang out in the back of the crash house and at the Scum Pit. Watch out for them. They are they like playing with knives. I see. Anything else you can tell me about? Um, thanks for chatting. See you around. Okay. Can I talk to you again? Okay. Um, yeah, you, you cannot exhaust, you cannot completely, completely exhaust the dialogue options. Some, like for instance, um, telling him that you're sorry about his, his brother's loss, so you can't talk, you can't talk to him about that a second time, which makes sort of sense. So you have to be kind of paying attention to the dialogue here in this game. Okay. These are just generic guards that don't really do anything. Okay, this is uh, Gizmos Casino. Let us not just go in there yet. Let us um, inspect this place. And nothing, and also this dresser contains nothing. Okay. Okay, let's leave. Um, hmm. Have we been in here actually? I don't think so. Okay, let's first, before we do the dangerous thing, let us um, talk to these peasants. You earn 100 experience for helping Phil to solve his canine conundrum. Uh, what? Oh, the dog seems to think you are his owner. Hello, dog. Off, off. Move aside, buddy. Good boy. We now have a new companion. Dog. Okay. Maybe he has a name. Let's talk to his real owners. I wouldn't trust that beast if I were you. That thing is a killer. Hmm. A killer could come in handy. And I couldn't read the text because it's obstructed by that other text. That sure is a nice pooch you have there. Uh, hmm. May I loot your bookcase? Yeah, it's always it's always strange in these RPGs that you're just most of the, of the time you're just running around looting other people's stuff. Um, if that would happen in reality, that would be kind of strange. The main hero just going around opening drawers and searching bookcases whatever okay let us uh gizmos casino a hive of gambling and underworld activity careful they say the games are rigged or are they 
Okay. You see a gambler. Hmm. Place your bets. You currently have 81 caps. How many would you like to bet? None at all. Because this game is rigged. Probably. I don't think you are on a hot streak, but... I'm not going to try to convince you. Okay, don't let us not do... Let us not waste our money here. Is there anyone I can talk to? Uh, Gizmos Guard and Gizmos Guard. What? Uh, can I ask you a few questions? No, go away. I don't think he, this guy is any friendly, yeah? Let us check out the rest of the casino then. <clears throat> uh, really? Wait. Hmm. Actually, let's try something. Um, this is again. The reason I'm saving here is because it is a, probably not a good idea and I actually didn't want to name that save. LP24. Okay, there you go. Let us try to steal from him. Um, of course, I'm just curious. No. <clears throat> okay, he's just some bottle caps and a knife. Let's let's not bother him. Uh, and there is probably yeah, Gizmo. That's his own. What do you, what what do you, you want? want? I'm a busy man. Um, I want to know how someone as stupid as you is still alive. Okay, that's not a good dialogue option, clearly. Um, oh. Uh, yeah, I think I made a mistake here. Okay. Nothing. Actually, I just, I just. I don't going like now. people who waste my time. Don't come back again soon. Okay. Um, I might have screwed up here. Let us. So, we were, we were instructed. And that thunder is outside my building. Okay. Um. Yeah, we were instructed by um, Kilian Darkwater to. Wiretap him, I mean Gizmo, or to plant this, uh, use this recording machine to record his confession of a murder. Let us try to, to get. Okay, why can't I use that? Uh. Maybe it's... I use it like this. And then, okay. Yeah, it has to be in my inventory. Okay, let us try to use that. That does nothing of interest, does it? Um, yeah, when we come back, folks, we will figure out um, whether I made a mistake or not. So until next time folks, until then.